NVIDIA managing to shake off early morning selling and end the day higher. Shares turned around midday after some bullish comments from CEO Jensen Huang to investors, including in part what makes us unique, he said, is that we're the only chip company, I believe, that will create its own market. And that echoes what he told our Jim Cramer earlier this morning. NVIDIA is a data center scale company. We're a full stack software company and we designed the entire computing system. We sell it in parts so that everybody can enjoy when NVIDIA they, when they wherever they are. Joining us now live from the conference is Wedbush Enterprise Hardware Analyst Matt Bryson and T. Rowe Price Portfolio Manager Tony Wong. Welcome, guys. Matt, first, I mean, in a way, Lisa Su was just telling us a week ago that she thinks that AMD is uniquely positioned because it's got, you know, chips in CPUs, in uh, client machines, as well as what it has in data center. I mean, can all of this be true at the same time about the advantages these companies have? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think it, it can all be true. So I, I think that when you think about NVIDIA, the fact that they built out this software ecosystem, um, that, you know, they're unique in uh, being able to give you the entire or most of um, the, the the system. So the networking, as well as the, the accelerators um, and able to get better performance out of that, um, that's unique at the same time. I, I think when you look at the, the cloud vendors, they've been designing their own systems for forever. Um, they want to have diversity of choice. And, and so it makes sense to have AMD as a, as a partner. Um, and then from an AMD perspective, if they get 10%, 20% of the market, I mean, that's a, almost a home run for them. Um, so yeah, I, I, think, I think both companies can be winners. Tony, uh NVIDIA seemed to position itself, Jensen seemed to be positioning it as, hey, we do the whole data center, not just the chips, in a way that should seem to be uh, a gauntlet throw for AWS, for Microsoft Azure, even as, you know, Jensen opens his arms and embraces these guys as, as partners, and they all talk about how great Blackwell's going to be. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's really exciting to be here, and one of the themes that we've seen is really big chips with really big performance. And so we've seen the training improve on Blackwell from range from two to five X, inference up to 20 X, and the overall cost of ownership has gone down tremendously. And so I think that's what's exciting here and that we are seeing this really big shift in generative AI where if you just feed the machine more data and compute, you get better answers. And so the software is writing itself. And so I do think this is a new compute TAM and like a lot of players can, can, can do well. And so that's really exciting for me when I look at the space. Matt, do you see it the same way, this idea of new compute TAM, especially when, when, you, do have this, when you do have this algorithm company first, uh, quote unquote, as Jensen put it, um, I, I guess what does that mean in terms of market share within data center? What does that mean in terms of thinking about the future of NVIDIA as more, and I know we have been talking about it here, but continuing to talk about it as more than just a semiconductor name? Yeah, so yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I, I think, I think, Matt. Yeah, so I, I think certainly the, the TAM is is started to take over from, or there is a new compute TAM um, that we're going to see the next generations of generation of applications built on AI. Um, I, I think the debate is rather um, when do those applications show up. So, like Jensen said, you know we're basically building the software, so building the applications. Um, and it's just that that pace of growth is is the difficult piece to to, to figure out. Um, in, in terms of where where market share is, um, I, I think there's always going to be competition from uh, hyperscale in terms of you know we can do infrastructure better than say an Nvidia Nvidia can. We can get a, a cheaper price, um, but I, I think as far as you can see right now, which is you know through the the new products Nvidia announced that like Tony said, they're, they're simply offering you a better value at this point. And so they will continue to get um, share and they will continue to sell more because no one wants to miss uh, this new AI opportunity.